Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to another multi... Versus! That's right. Today's fan request is The Dark Knight versus Stripe from Gremlins. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified when more awesome vids and streams arrive. And special shout-outs to all our members, including our ultimates. If you guys want to join up, all you have to do is click right here. Select the tier that'll work best for you. So, how this is going to work, the first player to win uh, two matches will be today's winner. And uh, these are the stages we can go to, so let's see what happens today. Where are we being taken to? Mm. And yes, only the Iron Giant uh, costume remains for us to do a Got showcase. Got some Batarangs polish yep. just for the occasion. And I'm playing as Animated Batman, which they still haven't really fixed, but that's okay. Yeah. This skin is okay, but I don't know if it was worth $20. I think we all know it wasn't. Because mm. <laughs> it was I feel bad because... Um, well, I mean, we did pay for his skin back in June, so, I mean, we've already paid it back. So I'm not yeah. worried about it. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm, I'm... Batman's my number two, so just heads up. Remember, when you put the targeting reticle on me, uh, you can shoot me. Oh. Like, if I'm far away and stuff like that. The whole thing where it says weakened and it has a bone that's broken is kind of disturbing. Or it gives you that weakened prompt. See, yeah, there. yeah. Well, Batman yeah. is a, a character that uses brutality as like an intimidation tactic. So, if you're in pain, I mean, are you really going to want to continue battling Batman? <laughs> you know, yeah. I would hope he delivers a punch that knocks you out, so you don't have to keep getting pounded on by him. Yeah, ever since the Arkham games, when he had that guy against that wheel, I've never looked at Batman the same. Well, I mean, he did brutal tactics in the animated series. They just did pan away shots. You couldn't, oh. you couldn't see what he did to people because of TV censorship. Oh wow! Batman's always been a, a character that will use whatever tools and martial arts abilities necessary to take out somebody without killing them. He's put so many people into the ICU over the years that it's not even funny. Wow. But there were people on Twitter saying that Batman is not a brutal character. And I was just like... <laughs> I really liked I liked Ben Affleck's version of him where he was branding people. I thought that was so cool. That was pretty intense. <laughs> because in reality, they were horrible criminals and no one was doing anything about it. Right. But, I mean, I, I, I wasn't a big fan of that because... Batman may manslaughter people, but he doesn't assist in killing people. I mean, it just scars you, but it would hurt a lot. No, it's a, if you're branded, then basically oh. Batman's saying that you're somebody that he gets information from, so it's like you signed your death warrant because... Oh, that's what it meant. I thought he just did that to make them feel pain. Oh, I didn't no. even realize what it was happening. It was, like, it was like tagging somebody before sending them to jail to oh, tell wow. the other people in the prison that that's a person that's a stoolie. You need to get rid of them. Wow. So those people would, people branded would end up like basically be on death row because eventually wow. somebody's going to come after you because Batman's deemed you as a um, uh, important aspect of you know his war on crime and uh, your your employer if he sees the brand then you know why would he do that to the people that helped him with information no they didn't even help him with information he just did it anyway so they get killed oh wow yeah i mean they were human trafficker people but yeah so he tried to pretend they were helping him with information yeah, yeah I, I see what you're saying but yeah the bat brand was bad but I yeah. mean, it was pretty well, brutal and awesome, though. The, the animated yeah, series, disturbing. whenever Batman needed to interrogate somebody because they couldn't show it on television, they would use a couple key animations. One where Batman would, like, crack his knuckles, and they'd have, like, a shadowy, like, figure to him. Oh, yeah. Another time where they would show him do, like, violent things, like insert, like, somebody breaking an arm or something like that, but they wouldn't show it. You'd hear the person scream, and they would do, like, a pan away shot to the sky, or, you know... Wow. Most of the time, when Batman would throw a punch or kick, you wouldn't really see it land on the person. Or they would go to a shadow effect on the, you know, side of the wall or something like that. Because, yeah. you know, it was a Saturday morning show, and they were really pushing the envelope I, back in 1992. I so. do remember Batman the Animated Series when they would show him mad at somebody, and then they would show him, like, coming towards the screen. And they would like, zoom up on the criminal. Yeah. yeah. 
Like, he was almost like he was coming towards you, the viewer, watching it. It was like, really creepy. Like, I didn't even know Batman was torturing people when I was a kid because, no, like, they would either. they would zoom in on the car the bad guy's face and he'd get all sweaty and then scream and then they would go to the next shot with Jim. I and thought he would scream because they were afraid of him. That's yeah. what I thought. I didn't know he was actually doing stuff. I thought he was just... I thought he would get so close and then he would just tell him everything because they were so afraid. Yep. But I guess that's not always the case. Well, I mean, he uses fear. The best way to use fear is to make people, you know, not want to deal with you. And... Yeah, sometimes we must do unpleasant things. Well, I, I found it interesting, too, because, like, in the 80s, there's a famous novel, um, Batman Year One by Frank Miller. And... When Batman is is facing somebody, I think it's just like a, a regular mob enforcer. He um he he says like uh you know sometimes I share pain or I know pain and sometimes I share it and they they did when they did the movie they did like a tribute to the animated series when Batman used to do stuff yeah. like hurt people so they they made the bone cracking noise and the person screaming like. You know, intensely as Batman's eyes come closer and closer to the screen, and then they wow. did the pan away shot with the the person screaming, which so was like they added bone cracking to the animated series. Sometimes, wow. sometimes, but in that movie especially, they they added screams of anguish and stuff like that, and they took that panel from uh, the Frank Miller Year One thing. Yeah. But they just made it more terrifying, and so I mean, I I just used like six examples when I was like, it was like one of those people on Twitter that get like thousands of views for their weird hot takes, you know? Um, yeah, like, they, like, did they ever watch the animated series? No. That's what I, like, because I watched And it they never played the Arkham games either. So they call, they call people dude bros, um, for saying Batman is a brutal character, <sighs> when Batman literally is a character that uses brutality if he has to. Now, is he, like, a Mortal Kombat character doing that stuff all the time? No. Well, it was just kind of like the whole idea of like Alfred Hitchcock, where he would show and something happen off screen. It would be more terrifying than if you saw it. It's like my little night background. I earned yeah. that. All right, so the first um, round goes to Batman, and uh, Stripe has been knocked off his skateboard. Let's go again. All right, time for round two. Will it be Stripe or Batman as we enter the Batcave? Cool. And I'm <laughs> rocking the OG multiverses suit. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a lot of shows that I grew up with, but the one show I was able to watch at my grandma's house was Batman That's the Animated Series, so... Still prepping batteries. You know, I can say, even as a little girl watching that show, I, wa I was terrified. I don't know if I'm necessarily a little girl, maybe like a very early teenager, but I was very terrified. You know, it was he was terrifying but fun to watch because you felt safe with Batman because you knew he was only going to hurt the criminals. That was one thing why I didn't feel afraid of him. Because mm. you knew that he would never hurt somebody that was innocent or a little kid or something. Except that one episode of the animated series um, in the fourth season where Batman is confronting a, a Joker a henchman who is in front of his family and yeah. his son and wife are there as he's roughing the guy up. Yeah, and that was disturbing. Yeah, that led to Robin quitting um, along with him endangering Barbara and that really stuck with, with uh, Robin and then later when he became Nightwing and he and Tim Drake are uh, following up on a lead, they find a wallet and uh, Nightwing prior to that told Robin, you know, Batman will never change, his methods are intense and you know, he's, he's a grumpy old man who's on a mission of vengeance and stuff like that. And Nightwing sees this wallet from one of the ones stolen by this, you know, group of like pickpockets they took down. Yep. And he's like, I don't believe it. So he, uh, you know, he comes over and he visits the guy who used to be a Joker enforcer or a lookout or whatever, and um, he finds out the dude works as a security guard in one of Bruce Wayne's companies. And then he mentions, like, uh, you know, you know, I had a run-in with Batman once that changed my life and helped me get cleaned up, and I, uh, you know, even Mr. Wayne knows who I am. He's never too busy to stop by, ask how my boy and family's doing, mm -hmm. you know? So it's like Bruce, even though he did that stuff as Batman, you know, when the guy was looking for a job and oh, trying to clean Bruce up his act. Oh, as Wayne, he yeah. actually helped the same guy that he terrified. Yeah, traumatized his son and all this other stuff. But he helped him later. Yeah. 
But, I mean, does he really have the right to do that just because he's going to help the guy later? Not really, but... But was he planning on helping the guy later? Like, Probably. he was after the Joker because the Joker was trying to set a dirty bomb in Gotham. Like, it was... I mean, you can't expect... I think he did lose his temper. He lost control because he was, like, trying to help so save lives. Yeah. He was stressed out. I mean, everyone gets stressed out. Not. That's what is great about Batman. That's what everyone likes because he's not Martian Manhunter. He's not super... Uh, Wonder Woman, he's not a superhuman being. Super Wonder Woman? <laughs> what would a Super Wonder Woman be like? <laughs> Even more above Wonder Woman than Oh she my gosh. Is. So, like, if Vegeta and um, Trunks had their uh, Super <laughs> Saiyan, like, beefy upgrade, yeah, where they, be more where they hit, the, she hit yeah. the gym. She'd be huge, but she wouldn't. She'd still be gorgeous, but she'd just be really buff. Her muscles would be even more super thick. She'd have like Popeye muscles. Oh gosh! She'd be a girl. No, that's weird. <laughs> images, images. I have images. Uh, well, what I was saying is like he's not a superhuman person. He's not an alien. He's not superhuman. So he's a human being. That's what we like about Batman. So he is gonna lose it once in a while. Yep. Just like everyone else does. That's what being a human is. You're not... That's why we can tell people aren't... You can tell, like, if lizard people or robots ever take over the world, the best thing you can tell if someone is a human being or not is if they have... If they sweat. Did you, did if they lose you it. you seriously bring they, up the lizard people again? If they get again? emotional, if they make a mistake. You know, if you make a mistake, if you get emotional, if you get upset, you can tell you're a human being. That's how you can tell the difference between the lizard people and the humans. Ouch, I deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about weird stuff, Amber. I'm sorry. Are I you? Mean, that's how I tell the difference between them. Sometimes if I don't know if, what someone is like under their human skin. <laughs> so, anyway, most of our subscribers... Did you just teabag me? No, I didn't mean to. Did you just teabag no, I, me? I didn't mean to. Oh my gosh. That was crouching. That's... Don't do that online. <laughs> it sends a bad message. I didn't mean to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so most of our subscribers, so most of our subscribers have actually unlocked um, the final tier of oh, um, wow. multiverses. Yeah, the tier 50. What's on tier 50? The Robin skin for um, oh my uh, LeBron gosh. James and the opera skin for Bugs Bunny. This isn't your oh, just in time for Halloween, more costumes. I, I think actually I will be ready to unlock that right around Halloween. So... Probably gonna do a multiverse stream just showing all the Halloween skins. Batman would look so cool as a vampire. Mm-hmm. He would. Uh, he would. You just have to make his ears and then make his no, eyes they, red. They had a vampire um, skin before that they were gonna use in an Arkham game. I don't remember if they ever used it or not. But Ugh. anyway, guys and gals, that is gonna do it for this uh, episode of multiverses. Um, <laughs> Batman has won, defeated Stripe. <laughs> Stripe is completely out. Stripe has been completely KO'd, but we can see him breathing because Batman doesn't kill people. <laughs> yeah, look at his little tummy is breathing. Yeah, he's, down. he's breathing, just so you know. He's alive. <laughs> he's just chilling. He's like, all right, I took too many punches to the face, so I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. He's been branded. Yeah. So if you guys have any more uh, multiverses characters you want to see, let us know in the comment section below. We're also going to be doing a video on the uh, Halloween characters that are in... Um, Rocket League, uh, sometime before Halloween, so be on the lookout for that. And uh, we're going to try to do some other stuff other than multiverses as well, because, like, I mean, YouTube uploads have just changed so much that it's just kind of like, you know, Blech. meh. All right, um, hit up the playlist for more multiverses as we are nearing our 100th episode, which is crazy. And uh, thank you so much for the support, everybody. Thank you to all our members, and uh, we'll see you guys live tonight on the channel with something else. God bless and happy gaming. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.